Hi, it's Hinda and welcome to Cooking Fantasies. I haven't been posting any video for a while, but I'm back today with a new recipe. And in today's video, we're gonna be making a delicious brownie and cheesecake with cherries. That's right. So from now on, you don't ever have to decide between a chocolate brownie and cheesecake because you can just make both. And like always, I will leave the list of all the ingredients with the grams and the cap measurements down in the description box. So let's start baking and the very first thing we're gonna make is the brownie as it makes the bottom layer of the cake. And for this we're gonna have to melt the chocolate with the butter together either in a double boiler or in a microwave while stirring continuously until they both melt together. And once there are no lumps left, remove it from the heat and allow it to cool on the side. And meanwhile, I will pit my cherries because I'm using fresh ones. You can as well use canned ones and or any other kind of fruit or berries that you prefer. Or you can just totally skip this part and do with just the brownie and the cream cheese. And now that our butter and chocolate have cold, we're gonna start making the brownie butter. So beat the eggs with the sugar and the vanilla sugar or the vanilla extract until you get a white fluffy mixture. And as always, it is very important that the eggs are in room temperature to achieve this result. Then add the melted butter and chocolate to the butter and resume beating. And now finally, we're gonna sift in all the dry ingredients, the flour, baking powder, we use the unsweetened cocoa powder, the salt, and mix everything together to incorporate. I use the 25 by 25 centimeters baking tin, that's about 9.5 inches and you can as well use a round one if you prefer to, which I layered with some parchment paper and I also covered the sides with butter and flour that it doesn't stick and then it will be also easier to remove afterwards. Then pour the brownie butter and you want to make sure that it's as evenly spread as possible, then place it in the fridge to set while we are preparing the cheesecake butter. And now to make the cheesecake butter, it is very important that the butter is very, very soft in room temperature. And if you have forgot to take it out of the fridge before, then you can just place it in the microwave for some seconds until it's very, very soft. And then you're gonna beat it with the sugar and the vanilla sugar or vanilla extracts, whatever you are using, until they are very, very well incorporated. It is very important that you don't have any butter lumps left in this mixture before moving on to the next step. Then break the eggs in a separate bowl and lightly beat them before adding them slowly to the butter and sugar while continuously beating. And finally, add the cream cheese and the cornstarch and resume beating again until you get one nice homogenic cream. And if you're not adding any cherries to your cake or any other berries or fruit, you can at this point add some lemon zest or also orange zest. It goes very nice with the cream cheese and also with the chocolate. So 
So as easy as that is our cheesecake batter ready. Now we're gonna have to pour it over the brownie batter, but do this carefully and make sure to use a spatula or whatever to spread it all over the brownie layer. And now it's finally time to add our cherries. So we're just gonna add them to the top and slightly press them into the cream cheese. And like I said, if you are using any other fruit, you're just gonna go ahead and do the same method. And by the way, I tried the same recipe with strawberries and it tasted just amazing. I could only recommend it. The strawberry taste goes so well with the cream cheese taste and the chocolate, you're gonna love it. I preheated my oven to 160 degrees Celsius, that's 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and the cake takes about 45 minutes to bake. And of course you should do the toothpick test, which should come out dry. And one more last tip before we finish the video. So if you are even a bigger gourmand or gourmand, what you can do is double the cheesecake cream ingredients. And then you're gonna need, of course, a little bit bigger baking tin. And what you will end up with is a bigger layer of cream cheese than brownie, which tastes just delicious. And there it is. I hope you will try this recipe soon. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments and I will answer you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. And see you soon with a new baking video. Happy baking!